hello bikers of all worlds and come back welcome back to the channel um today is uh licenses for trikes sidecars um quads come under for a little bit of trikes so that's already been thrown in there so um i hope that you get um some value out of this um of uh what you should be doing and what licensings you actually need to keep yourself out of trouble if you're a new rider um, if you've held your license before january the 19th 2013 um, you've got no real worries you go over, you go um, under the grandpa laws um, which means um you're you can ride as a disabled person a, a tricord quad under your car license with no worries um that's just uh what it was before 2013 um so you're fine with that so uh yeah so i hope for the new riders um this helps um clarify a few bits you need to know so thank you Right. This site is called Simply Sidecar. It's uh, Sidecar UK Laws. Um, so we're starting as my site's for disabled people. This is this is what this is about uh, for tests and for using a sidecar to help ride your bike. So the first bit is, can I take my CBT? and full test on a sidecar outfit. Only if you are registered as disabled, the test differs from the other standard test taken on a solo motorcycle in a number of ways. Um, we strongly advise you to contact the Driving Standards Agency to clarify the current rules for the test. So basically, if you're disabled, yes, you can take a test. On a sidecar. Uh, the next one is, is a motorcycle and sidecar the same as a trike? Um, so it says, no, trikes are a specific vehicle categorised having symmetrically placed wheels. They have different licence and taxations requirements to motorcycles. Um, but we'll be going over that on the next part of this which is uh, the laws for trikes and um, sidecar um, uh, quads actually come under that as well surprisingly enough um, so can I can I ride a sidecar outfit on my car license no you cannot all car drivers regardless of when they took their their car test, must pass a CBT before riding an outfit on the road. Remember, as far as the DSA is concerned, a motorcycle and a sidecar is a motorcycle with an attachment, not a car or a trike. So that answers that question. Can I ride a sidecar built? of any size on the road with just a CBT. You could, but to bring the UK into line with the EU law, this has now changed. You will be required the same license as you would for a solo bike of the same size. Um, have I I have passed my test with category A license restricted. What outfit can I ride? You can ride a bike without, with or without a sidecar, as long as it conforms to the license holder. It is very complicated, so please click to see the, the government's site. So use this site, which I'm on. Um, I'll put a link down 
down the bottom uh, for, all, for all these. Um, so the next one is, can I fit a sidecar to the right side of the motorcycle legally in the UK? If the motorcycle was first registered in the UK before the 1st of the 8th, 81, you can legally ride it in the UK with the right hand sidecar fitted. After that, it is illegal. Link to the actual law for sidecar fitted after that. After that. Is it illegal? Link it actually for law. Oh, sorry. Clarity, click here. Note this law clearly states date of registration, not date of build. This is a UK law, so date of registration refers to the date of refers to the date of registration in the UK. More details here. Um, next one, do I need to wear a helmet when riding a sidecar? Yes, you do. It is registered as a motorcycle. Passengers in the, the sidecar are not required to wear, to wear helmets, but the passenger is on the pill pillion seat of the motorcycle. They must wear a helmet. And last, do I have to get a new MOT to tell my insurance company? If your motorcycle is old enough to need an MOT, it is important to have it, its MOT test as soon as the sidecar is fitted, even if it already has an MOT as a solo. You should also contact your insurance company as to tell the, tell them you have fitted a sidecar your premium will almost certainly not change but you should tell if you modify your bike in any way so that's all the laws for the sidecar right the web address will be in the descriptions down below um, I'm only going to be uh, going through a few of these what is uh, applicable for disabled riders so let's start um so if you hold a category b1 entitlement trike and quads when you renew your or replace your license after the 19th of january 2013 it will show category b1 and a the a entitlement will be limited to trikes and you will not be able to be to ride a motorcycle you were not previously allowed to. Personal license, provisional license, sorry, now only covers you to ride motorcycle motor tricycles if you have a physical disability. Drive driving test of a three wheeled vehicle only applies available for physical dis disabled drivers. Um, so that's one thing. Provisional category B car license, provisional category A license now only covers you to ride motor motor tricycles if you have a physical disability. Dri driving test three wheeled vehicles are only available for physically disabled drivers. So basically, um, previously, and when you see quads and trikes on ebay they say you can ride them on a car license you can only do that if you've had, held a full driving license before 20, january uh the 19th 2013 after that you cannot ride them on your car license you have to go for a specialized trike license or for a quad it be a bike license but you cannot do it on your basically on your car license um so let's go down a bit more 
Uh, how do people write in da -da -da? DVLA sidecars outfits licenses motorcycles we've already done that um, so basically uh, a disabled person taking a test on a trike will qualify for a category A license that is restricted to the use of a trike it will not qualify them to ride a solo, mo solo motorcycle or drive cars. That's the other thing. Um, so, like I said, there is loads of this. I'm um, just slowly going through and picking out bits I think is you may need to know. Um, I think we've mainly gone through it. So, future changes. So, a lot of this, um, I will also put the NABD website down. And a lot of this you'll find through NABD and they, they can really help. Um, like I said before, I'm actually a member of, of NABD. So... Are there different types of trikes? Yes, but in a nutshell, there are only two types of trikes that you really need to know about. Bike engined and car engined. Having said that, it isn't the engine type that finally influenced the decision of what type of trike you're going to ride. It is the weight of the trike and what you are actually license to ride any type of trike can be built or brought to suit disabled needs these are strictly very very from humble uh, 250cc bike engines trike all the way up to a grown growling car engine v12 um, right on a car engine trike, which is normally a boomer, um, passengers on them have to wear seat, car seat belts. Uh, that is a law. Um, oh, you. Uh, that is a law. So you will need to have the seat belt for for the back seat back seats. Um, obviously, the rider doesn't because he has to straddle straddle the bike part of it so he does not need legally does not need um a seat belt but it may be a good idea to put something like um type of seat belt you have on a plane what they used to have in the old vw campers the the lap belts um just to stop you doing what i did when i my accident and propelling you halfway down the road without the bike so um that's that's really all you really need to know uh right now so so on that note thank you for watching and ride safe peace